And right now, let's check in with Jason on our weather. And of course, there is some haze, and this is due to a fire here at an apartment complex. Yeah, it burned uh, most of the night last night, and you can see the end result. Now, things are starting to clear up just a little bit in this picture from over the past, oh, 30 or 40 minutes out there. That's a direct result of at least a light breeze that has finally developed out there. But if we don't keep that breeze going this morning, that haze is going to be really hard to get rid of. If you do have respiratory problems, try to stay away from that area if you can. Now, you can't stay away from from the heat. There's just no beating it on a day like this. We're expecting records to fall around the state. Farmington could easily tie a record today. Albuquerque, same thing. Santa Fe looking to break a record. Not having much trouble there as well. And Raton should shatter the old record up in the northeastern part of the state, which is kind of strange because right now Raton's one of our cooler spots. It's 55. Very pleasant starting today the there. 54 Taos, 59 in Las Vegas, but a little warmth down to the south as we get started on this midweek Wednesday. Now, yesterday afternoon, right on cue, uh, mid to late afternoon, saw a few thunderstorms, northern mountains, western mountains out there, and they kind of drifted in various directions, but really not all that numerous, and I really don't expect to see a tremendous number of thunderstorms today either. They're probably going to be right over the mountains, as has been the case, but the heat is here, and that is because we're still locked under this big ridge of high pressure. That's the story for today, but heading through the latter half of our work week now at the end of the weekend, that moist monsoon flow is coming, so hold on. Moisture means cooler temperatures temperatures and more much needed rain for the area. But when it comes to today, the rains once again will be limited to just those isolated spots up over the mountains. Storms that form in the north will drift to the east. Storms that form down here in the south will have a tendency to kind of drift off to the west as things work slowly around that dominant ridge of high pressure. And that high pressure ridge is the reason temperatures are looking like this. They are hot across the board. And let's move into the Rio Grande Valley. And you can see down in Valencia County, 100 degrees heat for Los Lunas and Berlin and pretty close on that mark in the downtown corridor later today. 93 today in Santa Fe, a shade cooler tomorrow, but then we kind of back things down to a more realistic number in the upper 80s over the course of the weekend. Temperatures may not get that cool for afternoon highs in the metro, but low 90s normal this time of the year. 98 today, though, should we make it? We'll tie a record from back in 1995. Okay, and we'll let you know on that one. Right now, it's